Welcome to Woggle Guides. In this guide, I'll explain how to quickly add an Outlook icon to your Apple Mac dock. Let's get straight into it. I've opened my Chrome internet browser and I'm in my Microsoft Outlook inbox. If you use Outlook as much as I do, it can be really convenient to add an icon to the dock on your Apple Mac so that you can quickly open Outlook without having to open your internet browser first. Let's quickly do this now. Whilst logged into your Outlook account, you can add the icon by moving your mouse to the top right of your Chrome internet browser. You'll see a three dots icon next to your Google profile picture. This icon indicates that there are further options available behind this link. I'll click on it now to show those options. If I move my mouse down the list, you'll see there's a link called More Tools. Clicking on that shows some further options, but the one we're interested in is called Create Shortcuts. I'll move my mouse to that and click on it once. A shortcut creation window then pops up. The name of the shortcut is highlighted, but you can edit that or add your own description for this icon. You can also choose to open your Outlook app as a separate window by clicking on the checkbox in the pop-up. If you leave this checkbox blank, Outlook will open in your default internet browser. To confirm your choices, click on the large blue Create button. An example of how your Outlook account will be shown is then opened. You'll see that an Outlook icon has now appeared in the dock. However, this will only stay in the dock as long as your Chrome browser is open. To add the Outlook icon permanently, I'll move my mouse to it, and I'll right-click over it to display a list of actions. I'm interested in the options links, however, so I'll click on that, and you'll see there's a choice shown here to keep in dock. I'll choose this to add the icon permanently to the dock. And you'll see that if I now close my internet browser, the Outlook icon remains in the Apple dock. And clicking on it once will open the Outlook inbox in a new window. I hope you've enjoyed this Woggle guide and found it useful. If you have, please like or subscribe for free so that you can find out when new guides are available. Thanks for watching.